All right, same rhythm for all three new things. Just changing the chord progression. And here we go, 60 beats per minute. One, two, three, four. One, and, and three. C5, but let's just go with it. I just want to eat one, two, three, four, one. Assume that you have it uh, able to like reprint. I think. Let me know if you don't have it. Let's just go over right now. Uh, let's see. Try. Let's see. Can I make an adjustment here? Let's see if this works. direction you're going. It's like that is a C, that's a G, that is an A minor, and that is an F. However, you're getting kind of far away from going back to the C. So let me see here. 
So change the position of those two. And that'll make it more uh, closer together and everything. So instead of thinking about where each shape is going to go first, just think like where each root note's going to be. That might help. Yeah, if you change the position of those two, that'll tighten it up better. I see the bottom one here. So usually I don't like doing string skips. However, if you do a string skip with this one, with the F, basically change the position so you do a string skip, that'll put in a better spot. So then you'll have to, all, all three of these we're going to change the position of. And that'll make it uh, tightened up. We're going to tighten up. Right, so this one, this one up here is all good. Keep that as it is. Let's see. So although, if you if you look at it as just a, a, the starting fret number on this one, then yeah, that makes sense. However, you're skipping both the A and the D string to get all the way up there. So this needs to be changed, like the position of that A minor. Um, yeah, let's tell you what, I want you to start this in the open position get all the way down to the open position for that and when you go up to the B, I mean think about like what's the easiest way to go from A to B? Just A to B. Um, avoid jumping or changing or uh, string skipping as much as you can. So we're going to redo all this one here. Okay. The chords are correct as far as what you have written out. Position can be much more efficient. And I want you to start this in the open position. And then the last one. Yeah, so we need to change the position of these last two. So we got to change the position of the E minor and the F. Or the uh, A minor and E minor, okay? The rest is good there. So hopefully all that make uh, all that makes sense. And if you need me to resend that theory stuff, let me know. I think you have it. Oh, I can't remember. So yeah, if any questions come up, you'll let me know. And I'll continue to adjust this camera and see you next week.